Okay, in order to make changes or edit your pages, first you want to click on manage your website and then click on edit pages. Once you come here, your, you have your short page name which you'll be able to click on to every page that's on your website. This shows the file name. This one here shows the menu name uh, that shows up on the menu, navigation link. The title is what shows up when the site is being being viewed live. It shows up in the browser area. The status shows when the site is published, meaning this is uh, this is live. If you want to disable it, you can by clicking on any one of these boxes and just hit disable. Once you disable it, actually, if you really want to, and then very simple, it shows immediately disable. No one. On the internet will be able to see it. it shows the date that's created and when it was last modified okay so I'm going to set this back to enable and in order to edit any of the pages you can just select on it in this case I'll check home once you make it to this page this is the home page for example and if you notice things are starting to highlight as I move the mouse and every area that highlights it's edible okay which is good because you have access to every piece of information on your website uh, even if this looks all out of order now it's you can fix it uh, if there's a, a part you'd like to bring in that you don't see and you know, you'd like to add something you have the availability to add to your page any kind of image, flash code, um, photo gallery, or widget. So if you wanted to bring in a, uh, an image, you have your image library or you can upload it. There'll be other video tutorials demonstrating how this works. If you wanted to add a flash video, same thing goes for that. You can upload the video through here or through your file manager website here go to tools go to file manager there'll be other videos showing how to upload uh, videos images and placing them in into the into your website pages also if you wanted to add a photo gallery you have the option to select how it work uh, whichever one and how it works and there'll be other video tutorials for this also and if you want to bring in a widget and whether it be code so if you're a coder great if you're not you don't need to if you have a code that you're bringing in uh, from somewhere else you can use this function here it would work perfect by just dragging and dropping any rich text editors you can put in the map you can put in some weather you can change your site layout so if you wanted to change the entire site layout you have options if you wanted to change just this page layout it gives you what kind of layout uh, you can select and then you can make changes in addition to that is very very flexible if you wanted to change the design on the website you have a seamless unlimited amount of designs that you can select from and this will just change the entire layout pictures and everything you have all of these pictures are yours you can do whatever you want whenever you want and if there's something uh, that's not in here any pictures you can bring in your own pictures and just manage your entire web uh, you know and edit your pages it's actually unlimited and here it shows you the pages you would like to make changes to so this is your area for making changes to your pages hope this is useful you know, watch the other video tutorials that will be more in-depth in making changes. But thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, remember to call customer service. Uh, you also have the live chat support that you can use. Now, this is through uh, working hours. 
and depending on what uh, region you're in, it depends you know, what hour time frame. In Eastern Standard Time, which is my time, it's uh, pretty much 12 hours a day from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. and it's unlimited. The representatives will walk you through step by step to make any changes that you decide. So thanks for watching. Give us a call if you need anything and uh, take a look at the rest of the video tutorials. Take care.